I can just smell the network packets flowing right now at 10 gig and 25 gig speeds and capacities. What's going on guys? Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To and I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to be talking about networking today. How many of you guys are running 10 gig network switches in your home lab environment? Do you need to be running 10 gig switches and 10 gig networking in your home lab environment? What are the use cases? How would you fully benefit from a 10 gig networking switch in the home lab? Let's talk about 10 gig networking, why you would need it in the home lab, and we're also going to talk about potentially the best home lab networking switch for 10 gig networking in 2022. So get that hot cup of coffee and we're going to pour a full cup of 10 gig networking today. So first of all, let's level set. Why do you need 10 gig networking in the home lab environment or in the home network in general? What are some good reasons for it? The first reason that we want to talk about for having a 10 gig network switch in your network stack in the home lab is for network aggregation. A network aggregation switch typically is a high throughput, high capacity network switch that accepts network connections from all of the other devices on the network, specifically edge switches that uplink client devices. Those edge switches then uplink to your aggregation switch. An aggregation aggregation switch is also located in what is known as the top of rack location, uplinking many servers that exist in that server rack to the rest of the network. And those servers obviously will have high capacity uplinks that uplink into that top of rack aggregation switch. Having a 10 gig aggregation switch allows you to aggregate all of those high capacity connections into a single location that allows funneling that traffic or slinging packets as it's called to the rest of the network. The second reason for a 10 gig network switch in the home lab environment is for virtualization. Many of you guys that watch my videos are certainly home lab enthusiasts and you have home lab environments. With today's modern hypervisors, 10 gig networking provides tremendous capabilities and opportunities to play around with different types of technologies such as hyper-converged infrastructure, software-defined storage such as vSAN, storage spaces direct with Hyper-V, Ceph with Proxmox, and many other technologies. The faster the bandwidth and the faster that your network can carry those storage packets, you're going to achieve much better performance out of that storage technology. All in all, virtualization tremendously benefits from fast networking. After all, you are consolidating many workloads onto a single host. So the more bandwidth that that host has to your network switch and the speed of which it can communicate with the rest of the network, the faster the overall performance. The third reason for 10 gig networking and faster is backups. Backups directly benefit from the speed at which your network can operate. Backups can happen tremendously faster on a 10 gig network as opposed to a one gig network. After all, your theoretical max for a one gig network is around 120, 125 megabytes per second. Well, imagine if you can pull and push data, not at 125 megabytes per second, but eight or 900 megabytes per second. So the benefits are exponential. Your backup windows are going to dramatically decrease as well as the speed of which if you need to restore data, you're going to be able to do that at a much faster rate. If you need to restore a lot of VMs, such as after a disaster, you will directly benefit from having that 10 gig network switch. Storage area networks are another reason to have a 10 gig switch in your home lab environment. I have a Synology NAS in my home lab and it has a 10 gig interface. And I can tell you, it directly benefits from having that additional speed and network capacity uh, to communicate with the rest of the network. And I run some backup software directly from the Synology NAS. As the aforementioned topic, we talked about backups benefiting from 10 gig bandwidth. This translates into your storage area network. If you have that 10 gig network speed that your SAN or other storage device can benefit from, you are going to achieve much faster data copy rates, backup software is going to be able to target those devices uh, in a much faster way. The speed at which you can store data, pull and push data, 
The last reason to think about having a 10 gig network switch in your home lab environment is your home internet connection. While your home network connection or internet connection from your ISP may not exceed one gig today, there is a good chance in the future that faster than one gig will be offered to you for your internet connection. In fact, many today already have that offered to them at 2.5 or even 5 gig internet connections. If you only have a 1 gig network switch, your bottleneck is automatically going to be that network switch. You're going to have to have a higher capacity network switch that will be able to accept the uplink from the ISP handoff, whether that's fiber or some other means. 10 gig network switches will allow you to potentially have up to a 10 gig network connection. When you think about upgrading your internet connection, making it future proof for the next few years, it is a great idea to think about having a 10 gig network switch in your home lab stack. What I would like to do now is take a look at 10 gig switch models that are readily available on the net today that you can pull the trigger on. The first is one that I am fairly familiar with due to a previous model. So I have not had this exact Netgear model. However, what I do have is the predecessor to this switch that is uh, displayed on the screen. It's the ProSafe XS708T. And this particular switch was the first 10 gig switch that I had in my personal home lab environment. As you can see, if you can see this on the camera, it is a base T switch, meaning that it accepts what looks to be a Cat5 or Cat6 regular copper connection that you can plug in uh, to the 10 gig interface and actually achieve 10 gig connectivity. It also has a couple of SFP ports the final port is an either or port, meaning that you can only uplink one or the other. However, that switch is now discontinued and I have replaced that with a ubiquity model that I'm going to describe in a couple of uh, moments. However, I wanted to shed light on the replacement for the XS708T and other models similar to that. And that appears to be today the Netgear 12 port 10 gig multi gigabit plus switch. And the model number is the XS5 12EM. And just doing a quick query on Amazon, it looks as though you can purchase this switch for $1,149. Tax would also be involved with that, but it is in stock. And according to the Amazon page today, you could receive this as early as this weekend. Uh, at the time of this video being filmed. So it's a really great looking switch. It has the base T connections uh, for 10 gig and a couple of SFP ports. And it also has 12 ports as opposed to the uh, eight ports for base T that the 708 has with the two SFP ports. So that is possibly an option for many in their home lab environment if you want to delve into 10 gig network connectivity. The second model that I want to highlight is the Ubiquiti ES16 XG edge switch. This switch is currently the switch that I am operating on in production in my home lab network. And this is a fantastic switch. Really had great success with it. It's a great combination of features and functionality. Not only do you have the 12 SFP ports, you also have four of the base T ports. So it's a good mix of both types of ports. For instance, some of the super micro servers that I have in the home lab environment have a base T 10 gig connection. So having the four base T connections on this switch allows me to aggregate not only those base T connections, but also the SFP connections that you can use a twin ax cable or you can use a fiber patch cable with a module in these uh, SFP ports. Today you can buy this switch for $12.99, which is uh, a bit more pricey than I purchased it for some time ago before the supply chain issues. And it looks like there is a lead time on this switch according to Amazon, November the 7th. Now, I've not queried all of the other places on the net. Maybe there are some uh, vendors that actually have the switch available. However, it is a great switch. I have used it with my vSAN setup to aggregate my vSAN hosts, and I've had zero issues with that. Stability, performance, everything about it has worked very well. The third options I want to highlight are some that I stumbled on today that really piqued my interest a bit. I have ordered a lot of cabling 
and other network supplies from FS.com. However, they also carry network equipment and I was just out querying around and I wanted to share this with you guys. They have some fantastic looking switches for tremendous value. This S58 6020SQ switch is a 20 10 gig port SFP configuration along with for 25 gig ports. So 25 gig is what 10 gig used to be a few years back. It was very expensive, hard to find switches with that. But now it looks like we uh, can potentially get a awesome switch with, again, the 20 10 gig SFP ports along with four 25 gig ports. And it also has two 40 gig QSFP stacking ports. So it looks like a tremendous value. It really piques my interest as far as looking at potentially upgrading a switch for the core, for aggregation, for virtualization, uh, and other use cases. There's another step up from that that really is a fantastic looking switch as well. However, now we're starting to get into an extremely pricey switch model. However, if you have money to spare in your home lab environment and want to go all out, this switch, while it's $3,200, I think you will find that equivalent switches that you could potentially even buy if you're able to get your hands on them are going to be about three times this expensive. This switch is a 16 port, 25 gig port switch with also 24 gigabit ports. Not only are you getting the 16 25 gig ports, but you're also getting 24 gigabit ports. And it makes mention that it is actually designed for hyper-converged infrastructure. It looks like the reviews are actually really good on this model as well. And there's not a lot of reviews on it, but it actually looks like it reviews fairly well. Hard to say, you, of course, we can't verify the reviewers. Again, these are switch models that I have personally not had my hands on, but I have had really good success with everything else I've ordered from FS.com. So this is potentially a really great couple of models that you could look to if you're looking to splurge, especially on 25 gig or even the 10 gig model. I was looking at just the price for this 20 times 10 gig SFP port model is $15.99. And we looked at the Ubiquity for $12.99. You're only getting 12 10 gig SFPs plus the four base T ports. With this S5860 20SQ switch, you're actually getting getting 20 10 gig SFP plus, and you're also getting the four 25 gig ports, as well as two 40 gig QSFP plus stacking port. Take it for a grain of salt here, but for $15.99, it's roughly $300 difference, and it looks like it's available to ship, which actually surprises me quite a bit. Free shipping, uh, it's in stock and it's available to ship. Potentially an awesome high-end home lab 10 gig and actually 25 gig switch if you want to future-proof yourself for further iterations of your home lab. Potentially a great switch model to take a look at. And I'm going to post links to all of these switch models that I've mentioned here today. By no means is this an all-encompassing aggregation of links of all of the switches available. These are just a few that I either have experience with or that really look to be a great value for what you're getting from the features, the performance, the variety of ports that are available on these configurations. Guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this discussion about 10 gig networking and even faster networking. Thinking about our home labs today as well as future proofing those as well as our internet connections and other use cases for future capacities and needs. And the switch models that we took a look at, they are readily available today if you want to upgrade to 10 gig networking and the even faster models as we looked at in the FS models that offer 25 gig networking. Let me know what you guys are thinking. What are you running in your home labs today? Are you about to pull the trigger on a 10 gig switch? Is it one that we have not mentioned or listed here? Please let us know about it. This is just a way to get the discussion started, hopefully get you guys thoughts and input. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, keep the coffee hot, stay safe out there guys, and I will see you guys soon.